Many, many people watching are still wondering about this story. Uh, the former speaker denies it. Um, where do you stand after listening to the speaker? And have you spoken to him since? No, I didn't even know he was there. Claudia from NPR is the lady who actually put it out. I never put it out. I've never tweeted about it. Mm -hmm. The press has asked me about it, and I've talked about it. But, you know, at first he said he didn't see me. And then he said, well, it was a crowded hall. And then he said, well, maybe our elbows touched. And if you notice in the conversation, his his voice gets higher and higher and higher as he goes. Um, and so, you know, it's just an unfortunate situation. We ought to be talking about the $33 trillion in debt, about our continued resolutions that we, and you know, he, he backed us up. Kevin, he, he worked on our, had our budget since January, and then he decided to take it up in September after we'd already taken off the month of August when September 30th was our deadline. Those are the things we ought to be talking about. But unfortunately, this event happened. Um, the, the lady from NPR pretty well documented it, and um, she's talked about it on a lot of the national news. I, you know, she saw it, and and I felt it, and I turned around, and there was Kevin, and he has a history of this. He did this a couple of times to Adam Kinzinger. He wrote about it in his book, and it's just an unfortunate situation. You know, like I said, it's a sad asterisk on his career at the end of his career. Well, hopefully with the Thanksgiving recess, <laughs> I know everyone's spending some time apart from each other. We know how tensions can flare within family dinner tables. Uh, the GOP family clearly feeling some of that in Washington. Um, but yes. when you come back from recess, what is priority number one for the leadership for GOP uh, members under Speaker Johnson here? I mean, what, what is going to get top billing? Two words, fiscal sanity. He's talked about passing a budget, and that's got everybody, that's got the uniparty, all the former leadership, all the cronies, all the lobbyists upset, K Street, as they call it, where the lobbyists live. Um, he's talked about a budget, because, ma'am, under a budget, every spending item will have to be discussed, and every implement of that will be discussed. So that means all the special interests, all the lobbyist needs, and all that will be brought out into the open. And the left and the right um, need to, that's something they ought to agree on, is that we do need to pass a budget. We haven't passed a dead gum budget in Congress in 30 years. And we have a budget committee. Jody Arrington out of Texas is doing an excellent job. He has a budget he'd like to present. Former leadership in, in our party uh, basically gave him a golf clap when he came before our, our, our conference. And this, and this speaker is giving it more than lip service. He is committed to us that he is going to work on passing a real budget in Congress and having some accountability. I think that's what America needs because, as you know, our, our credit rating was downgraded um, only the second time I think it's happened in the history of this country. And two reasons, fiscal responsibility and leadership maturity. And I believe we've got both of those in Speaker Johnson. Let's stay on uh, Speaker Johnson, if we can, with you uh, quickly here. So uh, for years, the public has been called Republicans. Uh, the public has been calling for the release of the January 6th videotape, more than 40,000 hours. Speaker Johnson has dropped those. He's released those. You're seeing some of the footage in here now. Um, and, yep. and, and really, when you go through it, I mean, there, you know, there's a there's a variety of obviously different scenarios here. Um, but again, you see, again, protesters in there, some of them peaceful, coming in, uh, being escorted in there in, in this way. And again, we're talking tens of thousands of hours. So my question for you is this. What did you think uh, about Speaker Johnson's, uh, his choice to release the video? And why didn't Speaker McCarthy, did he not have the authority to do so? Why didn't he release them? Well, I, I, I can't speak for Kevin. All I know, it, it, he, he said he was going to and he didn't. Um, he also said we were going to have single spending, um, single item spending bills, and he didn't do that either. Speaker Johnson is 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 doing both of those things. He's keeping his word, and I think that's a refreshing thing in Washington D.C. for somebody in leadership keeping their dadgum word. Um, I, you know, I was the last person, last House member anyway, to leave the House floor on January 6th. I wish they would release. I would like them to show some of the things that I saw and that the public needs to see to clarify some of the stuff that, mm -hmm. that's been said. Yeah, there were, because there, there were some people there that were criminals, but there were others, obviously, that weren't. And I think there's some big misconceptions there. Well, there's, uh, there has been a call reportedly for an investigation now that these, uh, this, this footage uh, has been announced to be released. Con